Hi everybody, I hope you're doing good. I'm doing a little better. <laughs> yeah, I am. Oh, I was thinking about incubuses and succubuses again and um, what's written about that, you know, that Satan gives everybody that offer when they're young. That's why, well, the first sin was sexual and it was rape and then murder. So, um, that is the root of all evil, no matter what men want to say, I don't care. And we're all made that offer when we're young and we either um, run around thinking we're the end all or be all of sexuality or we straighten ourselves up and fly right. It, it's our decision, whatever. I thought I was the end all and be, be all in my marriage, but he enjoyed other people's company overnight for weeks on end, so, you know. It, you know, um, so I, I was thinking back, you know, how sexuality tried to destroy my marriage, you know, through other people. And even when I was young and I was in that mindset for a, a time until I straightened my act up, you know, but I was pretty young when I did. So, um, yeah, to me, it's just idiotic and stupid you know it really is i mean like i said there's nothing wrong with being cute and if you got some like sexy clothes on not trashy but you know like kind of cute you know that's all cool with me too you know i'm not down on people for that that's not what i'm talking about y'all know because he makes us all that offer it's up to us to realize that everybody in the world's doing the same thing. Everybody in the world thinks that they're like basically like Queen of Sheba or something or Satan's little pet. You know, everybody's um, dream. You know, that type of thing. That's, that's, it doesn't matter if you're queer or what you are, he tells you that. So, and so I had kind of a good laugh about that, thinking, you know, eh. Don't feel sad. Hell, everybody's been through it. Yeah, it's a matter if we grow up or not. You know, or how badly we're being used by him. So, yeah, that's okay. Should a five-year-old knows that shit? You yeah, know. So anyway, they think they're ready to get married at that time. So maybe even younger. So yeah, it's nothing special. So I thought, ah, don't let it get to me, you know. There's people who understand the truth out there, and you understand what's going on. And it's directed at Christians, and that's the bottom line. So, yeah, I'll keep swearing. That's all I can do. And I'm not even supposed to do that. Well, oh well. Then I'll find friends that feel the same way, you know. That's a fact. You know, if you're frustrated and you have to swear and you're on here, I'm hearing you and I understand. <laughs> Seriously, so. <laughs> that just means that you've been tortured as much as me. Maybe you were tall like me or big and people I knew, you know, like I seen this big, big guy, they'd always jump on him and the girls did that shit with me too. Well, one time I was working at Walmart and this little bitch says to me, would you reach up there and get that? And I looked at her and I finally had had enough and I said, why don't you bend over there and get that for me? I just had had enough. And then there was this ditz on there, this um, free thinker silver that I had recommended. I really thought he could be a friend even though he could have other ideas in his life um, as far as uh, Christian mindset, whatever and the Ten Commandments, you know, Seven Deadly Sins, all that good stuff. I thought, oh, he still sounds like a nice person. Maybe somebody I'd want to reach out like with my sons or younger people or even a friend to talk to. But then he got to a point where animals aren't the same level as humans, like and putting it in threes, like there's man, there's woman, and then animals, you know, and I'm thinking, wow. I owned a drywall company, I've been a secretary, I've been a nurse, I'm a martial artist, I've given birth, and I've led men 
in a good way, in a righteous way, and you think you're better than what? 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 Oh, uh, whatever, little boy. You know, that just, then I thought, you know what, that's okay, because you aren't good enough to be my friend, so just go away. I'm still to this day a licensed contractor in the state of Minnesota, so, and a licensed minister that I don't do anything with. I only got it to get um, marry somebody that might have needed my services, that's all, because I actually know a lot about history and every extreme, so whatever. Yeah, that, that twerked me, and then I'm like, well, can't let these little people get to me. It's like, no, we are created equal in every aspect, you know. And it's not that I can't be a best friend with a man because I've had a lot of best friend men that wouldn't have ever looked at me wrong or treated me poorly. So, And I felt the same way about them. So your theory about um, only men can understand men on that level. Now granted, you do not have a feminine side. And I don't have a male side. I'm a strong woman. You may be a strong man. But... The similarities in the heart and the soul is what's equal, you know. So if you are lacking in that area, um, you are. You aren't fit to lead women if you think they're lesser in any way. So that's just my opinion. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm back to being the secretary, too, you know, making offices go around and nursing and into psychology and um, drug rehab and all that type of thing that I've done in my life, you know, even chef school. I mean, everything I've done, it's like, mm, uh, I can't let these smaller minds that don't want to learn and don't do anything. Or if you're doing something, I guess he owns some company or whatever, whatever. Don't care. Um, I'll get that out of my mind shortly here. So anyway, um, yeah, I can't help that you stopped with your education because I still have. So, you know, things come up, I'm learning. So, well, whatever. So that's your problem. And I can't help with you. you stop with your exercises either. Don't take it out on me. So, and I'm serious. Oh. No, what it is basically, too, this younger generation thinks that I have it easier than they do. So they go out and screw and they have little kids or they have to work or whatever, like I didn't have to work. I tried to make family and work all the time. I did my share of work in this world. I have nothing you want. Absolutely nothing. You could not handle my shoes. Oh, well, I may have a couple things you want. Well, you can't have my skin. And you definitely can't have my soul or my brain, you know. Um can't have my dog or my cat or my horse or my chicken or my kids, but everything else is up for grabs. Want my house? Pay me for half of it. I'll move out right the fuck now. That's a fact. I have nothing you want. And absolutely nothing that I didn't pay for. Y'all can just fuck off. Except for my friends that really feel where I'm coming from. I've been knocked down so many times, like had my house burned down, started over, had a whole house full of everything stolen from me. You know, all kinds of, you wouldn't believe one betrayal right to fuck after another. A constant, constant stream, you know. Those are just a few things, you know, but 
just a few things that most people cannot handle and smile through. So. Sure, I had a sad day. Thank you for making it worse. <laughs> you know. But I don't think I'm the only one that had a sad day because when people are barbecuing together and that type of thing, you know, that's a, I don't get up and have coffee and have somebody to sit and talk to or sit in the evening and, and have conversations about our day. I don't have people to talk to like that, not people, you know, normal people, you know, that type of thing. So there's nothing to be mean to me about on this end. And you really misplaced and deviated from your soul. So, and you're a nurse. This is concerning. That's a fact. Taking care of little handicapped kids. Wow. And you feel, what? <laughs> this isn't the first time you shit on me either. So we'll just leave it at that. Even when I was talking to you on the phone, you had that uba gooba little baby fucking attitude, just like um, a chubby little mothers of my granddaughters pissing on me because I'm lean. You know, so I'm sick of it. I really am. And I do have God in my heart, and you're not taking it away. So what do you want to, what do you, what do you intend to do? Stick around and listen to me bitch at you? Because I will. I mean, I didn't even say your name, or did I? Huh, doesn't matter. Compassion and loyalty. Hmm. We know who you're loyal to, so go do his bidding to somebody else. Total exposure. Goodbye, Letty. So, whatever. Yeah. I'm going to be saying goodbye to a lot of people coming up here. I expect to go down to very few subs. The only people I want around here are people that understand extreme pain and filth of this planet that we live on that is not normal. If you know that this is not normal, you're my friend. You know, give me a moment. I, I need the background noise today for the noise. I got the TV on. God forbid if I get a freaking strike or whatever you call that copyright. Oh, I won't get a copyright because it's a TV unless a song comes on. I suppose they can get me then, you know. <sighs> Disgusting. <laughs> so anyway. Yeah. Uh, once upon a time I had a kind of a happy-go-lucky little kid named John. And Luke wasn't really happy-go-lucky, but sort of serious like me, but so intelligent and kind and then just something changed so and that kind of was my indicator that um he had been around more than like when I was at work I heard stories about things that happened and yeah so it's like yeah okay and like uh often I'd be working the dad be home watching you know Mr. Mom type of thing is what he wanted but yeah no I figured, hey, if I'm doing it by myself, I might as well do it by myself, right? <laughs> so, yeah. And then nine times out of ten, I spend my life alone, so why not be alone? You know, that type of thing. So, yes, I know there's other people out there that would love getting together and having bonfires and picnics and talking about the people that have shit on them and having an ear to hear them. You know, and a soul and a mind to comprehend and console. So, yeah, those are my type of people and my only kind of friends that I'll accept. I have a few I can call on the phone, but unfortunately, 
free thinker silver they're men but i have tried so i would never call another man living in the same house even with an estranged husband in the house so i told him if i he said worried about me cheating on him i said there's nothing to cheat on for number one i'm never going to get physical or sexual or seek a relationship like that ever again in my life I want to go out dancing, I want to party, I want to have fun, and I want to be left the fuck alone, and I'm not getting close to nobody or no thing ever again, only as friends, <laughs> you know. And I, I've been like that a lot in my life, not just now. So, yeah, I've always been pretty taken care of myself like that, at least I tried to. Until the filth crept in on me, you know. So, yeah, it has a way of doing that. I really wonder if there's any Christian out there that there's two Christians, two real people in one family. I know there's not a man and a woman as one because I would feel that in my soul. I feel the leadership um, in the or of the atmosphere, so I don't care how many people that are married want to pretend I know better. I really do. So, And there's a way a, a woman can uh, keep her beauty from other men, but yet only shine for her husband. And uh, it's just not done anymore, and that's why my friend with the Habib, you know, if you ever start wearing that again, lady, I mean, in this country, I can see where it would be an issue and that's sickening, but I understand and I totally respect you for that. You know, in a manner of speaking, if man can't do that for themselves, then you take it upon yourself to cover yourself some way. I respect you, you know, so in a ladylike manner, you know. Being, like I said, nothing wrong with cute stuff or whatever, as long as it's not trashy, you know. So, yeah. Oh, anyway. Yeah, even when I was dressing, dressing goth, I was never trashy. I was just fucking me. You know, like gothic, like fucking dead, you know, that type of goth. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah. God changes people, <laughs> luckily. He don't, well, actually, what it was is I'm not a bitter old woman. I was more like a bitter kid, you know, because I was treated so cruelly. I wouldn't give a second thought to doing the same to somebody, actually. Well, now I do. So, yeah, God does change people. Yeah. When I started... Uh, when I started Sunday school, I think helped, and then when I started confirmation classes, that really helped, and met a couple good people in my life, older people, and I found out later that they were kind of iffy and trashy, but for a minute, I thought they were okay, you know what I mean, and it gave me enough to keep going, so that type of thing, so, yeah. Oh, anyway. Yeah. I just want friends that can handle if they've done shitty things just like me, just get over it and move on. And the biggest thing Satan tells us is we're dirty, you can't move on. Or you screwed up so many times now doing the same thing, you'll, nobody will ever forgive you. Well, that's a lie. Everything he says is a lie. You're not the sexiest. You're not going to be number one king of the or queen of the, on the world. Because everybody thinks that when they're young. Because that's what he tells them, you're susceptible. So, and a weaker mind will carry that through into adultness, and that's when I hate old people. So when I have a girl hating on me for God knows why, yeah, God does know. right back at you. Oh, anyway. Yeah, 
I, I hope I, in some manner of speaking or some way to my friends, um, can tell you I love you and I hope you know that I'm feeling you like that because when you don't have family and you don't let Satan get in there, then it is way more lonely than it is if, even if you're alone and you allow other things to come in your life with his help. You're not as lonely as the real Christians. You're just pretending. So. And that's the truth. Everybody can spot a real Christian. We know that. So. And it's hard sometimes, I mean. But usually I get that feeling right away. And I'll just kind of treat it like a yo-yo. And then treat it like a slinky and throw it down the stairs so it's all gobbled up and all twisted and just toss it away because you can't straighten it shit out and even if you do straighten it out the integrity of the metal is gone so it's like yeah, junk wouldn't even make a good spacer in the body shop for anything too weak Oh, that's what you are. A used up slinky. Oh, uh, anyway, and if you don't know what a slinky is, look it up. That's a good name for Satan's little creatures. Slinkies. <laughs> yes, that's what I'll name this. <laughs> I'll put it in there somewhere just for that. <laughs> So yeah, I was watching Water Bearer Charles. He was um, making a video about different things that he's been taking some tests like on his uh, personality traits and different things about his life, life times or um, different things and his age and, um, you know, well anyway, and it was funny. He made it like a different color on him, like this part was white or blue or all this. So I'm watching him and he's laughing. He's got a big laugh. So, and had music in the background that was kind of soothing. And my internet went down. It's like, okay, so I was going to make a video anyway. And I had my hair down. And I was going to leave it down like I do on warm days to um, cool myself. But then I thought, nah, I'll just put it up to bug people anyway. So, whatever. <laughs> I think I was going to put it up anyway, <laughs> but then it didn't matter anymore. <laughs> Gave me a good excuse. Yeah, if you hate me now, you would have hated my hair too, because it was beautiful. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> what can I say? Don't hate me because I'm smart and beautiful. Hate me because I swear. If that's all you've got on me. And I smoke. Yeah. There you go. And guess what? I had uh, M&M's last night too. You hate on me there. <laughs> go. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I am to the point where I'll eat whatever I want whenever I want. Because pretty much your body tells you what you can and cannot do. You know, if I had like a donut or I like a raspberry filled Bismarck's if I have something like that and it's got red dye in it and sugar and fat and all that crap well then the next day your body tells you um excuse me I'd like to have something that makes me feel alive here if you don't mind you know so yeah that's why people that are strong are strong because they have willpower do yeah my friend was walking and talking today JB that was really nice um, wish I could walk and talk with you I had to walk to the store a lot in my life I even used to take my wagon and put my cooler in there put my kids on there one time I had to go get tires for my car because the Mexicans kept popping the tires because um, this girl it was her car and her house. I bought her car and moved in the house. 
and they thought I was her for a while. So I, I literally had to go get tires with my kids and the wagon, and it was about, oh shit, I'm going to say about a mile and a half, but it was uphill with the tires on the way back. And then... When I went to change them, it was winter time, and the jack slipped, and I didn't have jack stands, and I dumped it on the lip and ground the ice, and it was like furrowed and from not shoveling because my kids were really tiny, and I was doing all this shit by myself, and it was like crazy. I did get a little teeny bottle jack. I got it up, and I found some like chunks of wood and cinder blocks and stuff, and got the shit changed. And, I've been through fucking hell. I've changed. I pulled my motor out, put in timing belts, put in my own trannies, all rebuilt cars, just because I had to have shit to drive. I got these little fucking bitches out here ragging on me. Men are, are better, and I'm a little bitch, and all this fucked up shit. It's like I could just slap all you idiots. That's why. Because you're stupid like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fucking weak little bitches. I'm so sick of you. I really am. So, yeah, this is kind of a rant video. I'm not quite sure what I'll name it, but maybe I'll send this one through. And if I think of something maybe a little more pleasant or not, because I know there's some people out there feel just like I do, but you're not talking about it. Well, I am, um, you know, so I'm not taking this crap anymore out of anybody ever again in my life. Straighten up and fly, right? Or die. That's the choice. I mean, we're going to die anyway, but do you really think that you're going to have a pleasant afterlife being cool right now? I mean, I swear, I get mean. I'm mean, but I am not cruel. Cruel is if you fell, which I hope you do, not from God, but on your face, and um, not pick you up. That's cruel. As a matter of fact, I would push you right now. So that would be cruel. But what I would say is, why don't you hit me first? <laughs> Please. So that's how you make me feel. And um, that's not lowering myself. Lowering myself would actually be doing it. You know. And I don't wish you dead. When you stumble next time, think of me. And when you ask for God's help, well, you, you should. Maybe you should ask God to have me not, you know, I always heard you don't want people thinking bad thoughts about you. Now, if you're thinking bad thoughts and it's not righteous, that's your problem. Then Satan's going to be thinking the bad thoughts back at you because that's what he does. He's the punisher. You never get away with anything. God doesn't hurt people, but Satan does. So all I got to say is the karma train's on its way, baby. I'll see y'all later. Peace and love from Pine City, Minnesota, USA.